Hi there! This video is part of a series of videos where I show you guys me putting together my Erin Condren vertical template kit thing. I recommend starting at the beginning of this playlist. So anyway, let me move into, um, this would be the fifth page of my kit, and I'm moving into my more functional stuff. So, um, I already have my full boxes page, my checklist page, half boxes page, headers and little things, and this page will be my very first of the functional. So I'm not 100% sure what all will go in this, but I do know that I am starting with my icons. So... Over here on my right, I have spent the last like 20 minutes or so collecting these things. Ooh, I'm missing some stuff that I need to go grab. Shoot. That's fine. I can grab them from one of these other templates. But um, what I'm doing is I'm turning these into my icons. So let me look in my notes over here to see what I'm missing. All right, so all the other icons I have, I have represented with little things or with functional icons. So I got to decide what I want to keep and what I don't. So I don't think I need a delivery box. Maybe I do. Hold on, let me think. Okay, I brought these over from the little things. I'm gonna go ahead and start a new row here. Um, so I'm trying to get these in rows of eight, just so the colors match up nicely. So I'm going to need to gr bring over eight icons to make this work. And this is great, I can show you some of the way I make icons. Okay, so I brought over four more um, icon things from several different places. This is going to let me show you a lot of the ways I get icons. So first I have here, I left this as is um, to show you how I turn like images I find online to something I can manipulate for icons. So this is a dog paw. So what I do is I get the picture. I use a variety of like free icon, free picture websites. You should use free ones. Technically, because you're just starting this off as a starting point and you're changing it, I think, I don't know exactly how copyright law works, but I still recommend starting with something free. There's been like two or three icons that I've paid for, um, but make sure you just read terms and policies. So I go over to um, Trace Window and do Select Trace Area, and I select it. Um, I always uncheck High Pass Filter and just use Threshold to just make sure the entire image is covered, and I click on Trace. And then I delete the original image, which gives me this. Um, and it's pretty simple. I fill it with white and I remove those red lines and I've got myself the icon. That one was pretty simple. A lot of these I sometimes have to release the compound so I can uh, color in some things. So you see how all of these have a gray background? There is a reason for that and I'm going to show you on this. It's so when I um, layer it on a picture I can, oops, not line, I can make sure that like the little spaces of it are you can see through them how I want. So I always just put in black when, when I start off with, so then when I have the correct color, I will change it. And I always put the transparency for icons, at least, since you see them more than little things. For little things, my transparency is at 30%. For icons, it's at 50 Just select all the little pieces. Uh, this box is one of those where I tried to find something online, but all of them were just a teensy bit off, and I ended up making my own. It was a freaking nightmare, and it still looks basically like what you can find online, but I just wanted mine to look a certain way. Okay, so these I grabbed from over here. This is from my uh, stash of stickers, like things from my horizontal kits, and I made this for, uh, ooh, that's not what I want. I used this, I'm trying to figure out how to get this the right uh, so I use this as one of my functional icons. Okay, so um, I'm going to have to change up these colors. So the outside is actually going to be white, and then all the little pieces are going to be black. Did I miss a piece with 50% transparency? Nope, that's how it's supposed to look. Uh, let's group that all again. It still looks weird, doesn't it? I think it's this piece. Let me just go ahead... Oh, there it goes. I need to just center it. 
So I've got that one done. Let's work on my nail polish one. This one is pretty easy. This camera is another one that I uh, made myself. Um, I just wanted it to be a certain way because I originally used this for um, when I have a sh when I had a Etsy shop. My freebie was on these, so I would make these like much larger, and like in the center of the circle, it would say "Thank you for your order," and then all along the edges uh, or along the inside, I would have little icons and stuff. In case you were wondering. So this is a sh whoa, that's a lot of icons. Uh, this is going to take a really long time to put together, I can already tell. So mm, probably a lot of this is going to be fast forwarded. So um, I have in my notes here uh, the two sizes of the icons that I would like to make. So let's start with the large icons. <laughs> Not what I meant to do. So, the size of these is going to be Is that right? Yeah, I guess so. It just looks weird compared to how big oh, Hold on. Let me make sure. Yeah, I guess so. The I made my icons. I used to make my icons 0.5. These are just a teensy bit smaller. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make, uh, let's, yeah, I'm going mm, how do I want to do this? Let's just go ahead and make the offset of it now, just to make things easy. Um, the offset is to give me wiggle room when I am cutting, and I'm going to make it black, group these together. And what I'm going to go ahead and do is just take each icon and fit it into one of these. So this is going to take a while. Guys, that took for freaking ever. Um, and I guess it felt like forever. So I'm gonna group this all together. Oh, I forgot to group these guys. Hold on. So what I'm doing is um, creating levels of grouping things. It's really important to me because it makes things uniform. So first, each uh, individual like like picture that goes in the icon is grouped in itself. So like all of the box contents group together. And then um, each icon, like, outer layer is grouped to its cutting lines, and then it's all grouped together. And then um, it's all grouped all at once. I don't know why this is so important to me, but it makes things easier in the long run. Okay. That takes up a lot of room. That's, I mean, it's in a good way. It takes up a lot of room. Um, so the next thing I need to do is super annoying. Uh, I need to make the small icons. So let's start by first ungrouping all of that. So the small icons, they're the exact same icons, just smaller. So while these suckers... Oh god, it's still doing the thing where it's not giving the lines any color. No, let's just... Yeah, let's... So what I need to do is make up a mock-up over here so I know the right dimensions. So... 3.344, I guess, is what we're going here. I'm going to offset it so I can get the right dimensions. Um, the right dimensions are 0.404. 0.404. 0.404. 0.404. 0.404. 0.404. 0.404. 0.404. 0.404. 0.404. 0.404. 0.404. 0.404. 0.404. 0.404. 0.404. 0.404. 0.404.
Okay, so the reason I grouped them everything the way I did, so everything is now the exact same dimension, so it should... Wait, what did I decide on? 0. 0.404. This should just work. Oh, hello. It all worked. So to get them all to be lined up correctly, I there's probably like a nicer way to do this, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to just align some stuff. Align left, align right. Okay. That should work, I hope. Let me see. I think that's right. Let's just spot check this. Perfect. Alright, so each of these lines is grouped correctly. Now it's time to make sure they are vertically aligned correctly. This part's the easy part. You know, like versus actually making all of the icons. Oh, this is so nice. Alrighty. Let's group that all together, and I am done with the small icons. Let me go see where I can fit them in. Can I fit them into the right here? No. So they're just going to go underneath the large icons. And I'm just going to zoom in to get them as close as I can. There we are. Why is that one touching, but not that one? Oh, it's because it's... Yeah, I know why not. Alright. <sighs> Done with the icons. So let me see what else I wanted to put on this page. Because there's not as much room as I thought there was. So I've got the icons. Um, other things I wanted to put in here were... Cancelled, rescheduled, and nope stickers. And weeklies. What else did I want to put? Because this box is supposed to translate to, like, this box. Ooh, where am I putting my weekend banner? Oh, my weekend banner is supposed to go here, too. Alright, I think I have enough room for everything. I think. So let me go ahead and work next on my uh, weekly ombre. Um, I'm going to go over to the front page and grab a normal ombre, because I think I can just make it work with this, right? I kind of also wanted to do some, like, three heart checklists, but it's not looking like I'm going to have room. Uh, I'm over here um, looking at some kits from other shops I have nearby, just so I can take a peek at how they do this. The weekly ombre is the same size as the um, ombre heart checklist, except for it needs seven dots. So this is just going to be, this is going to be just me remaking my ombre heart or dot checklist, but with six boxes for all the days of the week. I'm not going to like talk through this just because I've already made a video explaining how I make these. It was the second video in the series. The third, maybe. It's one of them. It's just me making the checklist page. So I'm just going to zoom right through this.
Okay. Um, I made the weekly ombre. Doesn't look terrible. Um, what else did I... My concern is that not everything will fit. You know what I'm saying? So I wanted... Oh, well, I guess there's not that much left. Weekly is the canceled thingies and a weekend banner. So let's just put everything to the side and I'll try to make it all fit later. Let's start by working on those canceled scheduled whatevers. Sizing wise, I know they need to be 1.5 wide, obviously. I think, I think this is what I want to do. So if you don't know how like these work is they have usually like small divots cut out of this so um, you can like lay them on stuff but I'm not sure how intense the cuts need to be. Oops. You know I'm just gonna kind of do do what I need to do and make just like assume it'll work out all right so to make the other one match because that's an important part. I'm gonna zoom in. Alrighty. There we go. That was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Um, so I'm not sure if this will be perfect. If it's not, um, after my very first kit that I make, I'll just play around with this. These aren't too important to me. I don't use them very often. I used to, but not really. So let's start writing. Okay, so this part is done. Um, I can always like add more of these if I feel like it. Um, so what else did I want to put? So the functional icons were something I was also considering, but I think that's going to be one of, mm. so over here, yeah, this is what this page looks like in my horizontal. I have fewer icons, which is the big one, a lot of these, and then these functional icons, I don't think I need them, but I definitely need a weekend banner. Hold on, let me, I'm crossing things off my list. Oh wait, I said I was going to put functional icons on a different page. You know what, let's just work on my weekend banner. I'm going to quickly do some, uh, some market research, and uh, by that I obviously mean go look at what some other shops do, and I'll be right back. The big thing that making this tutorial showed me is that I have no idea how to make weekend banners. I went to look at several videos and tutorials, but none of them really were a great explanation about how to make a curved weekend banner, and I've never been able to figure it out, so I just kind of winged it. Um, I made that black line is just like a curved thing I made, and then I made flags. I tried all kinds of tools within the Silhouette Studio, like these arc tools and these curve tools, and in the end, none of them worked. And I just went in by hand um, and I just turned my flags until they looked right and they kind of worked. I also grabbed that black bar, um, I made a uh, duplicate of it and I used it to line the flags up against and that helped like to make it a little bit cleaner but all in all like this was not a great way to make weekend banners. Um, maybe once I figure it out I will make an actual video. Um, I tried to do some cool stuff with the word weekend too, but in the end I just ended up detaching it all and making it fit within each box and like curving it to make it look fine. Um, this was a pain, but I think in the end it turned out okay. Okay, so there's 100% a better way to do it than I did. The first thing I recommend is, um, well, first thing I recommend is watching someone else's video on how to make these and then sending it to me. The second thing uh, is if you're making these, put the letters first in there because that was wonky. But other than that, um, the sizing is a little wrong for me right now, so I'm just going to make this slightly larger. 
All right, and it's a little tall, but whatever. I have my weekend banner. So this is, is this really all I had planned for this box? Is it going to fit down here? It is not. Oh, interesting. Where do I want to do? Oh, I should put cut lines on this. That's what I should do. Hold on, zooming back in. So, ugh, I forgot how annoying it is to do cut lines for this because that's not enough. Is this enough? Oh, that was not as annoying. Well, it's still, it's not gonna be great. Hold on. Better? Better. I just want to have the least amount of, like, issues when I go to cut this. I just don't want to have my cutting tool just be pissed at me. Which it, it, it sometimes is. So, how do I want to do this? How about I put a row of, like, these suckers all along the bottom? Oh, I should fill this. What I mean is, it's not showing up at all, because it's white text, so, nope, ungroup, not group. I got, I gotta, I'm gonna get some sleep, man. Better, now let's go back to grouping, nope, still wrong, group, group, and group, and last group. Cancel. Rescheduled. Nope, forgot. Whoa, that's not right. I guess it didn't group right. Can I fit one more? Mm, probably not. But let's try. Oopsies. I don't think this is gonna fit. It's not. Alright, so I get four of these. Let me zoom in a little to make sure there's no serious overlap. There is not group those together and I'm just going to center them. So why not? Alright. Now I need to fit two weeklies, which are no longer going to fit there. Are they going to fit? Oh, man. are t I don't know if two of them are going to fit then. Huh. Because I really don't want to put one of them sideways. Let's, instead of doing that, align this over here on the left. It's still not going to give enough room for a full one of these, obviously. Ooh. Huh. This is no fun. Alright, so let's at least put the weekend banner in. There's a lot of room left, guys. What do I want to do? And it also, like, just, like, beyond having a lot of room left, it doesn't look good. You know? Oh, God. Let me think. I have an idea. I'm going to bring in the date dots. So, um... If we're being honest, I'm not going to remake these date dots because they're a pain. I am copying them over from my horizontal kit, but I want to see for a second how big I made them. Oops. Point four. Oh yeah, that should be fine because I think... Should that be fine? Hold on, let me look at my planner.
Yeah, so these are going to be perfect Oops. before they were all broken up. Um, it still doesn't look good is the issue. You know what? I think I'm going to... I'm going to turn the recording off and, like, figure this out. All right, guys. Things have obviously changed since the last time we talked, so let's, let's, let's catch you all up. So I moved the large icons to the second page. This is going to be, like, my second functional play page slash date covers, whatever, and um, deco. I'll get to that in the next video. But up here, I made it so I could have two of those weeklies. My small icons are still there, and the canceled, rescheduled, and nopes are there. Um... Let's see if I can... I got originally rid of one of the... The for, one that said forgot. Because there wasn't room. But there's room now. Um, so let me quickly remake that. Okay. Group that. And... We're good. Um, I have two um, checklists. If you haven't seen the previous videos, I'm putting like the single checklist on uh, the pages. So here's the first page that has the checklist. I've got two. That's all really zoomed in. Two, four, six, and these two would mark the last two I need, which means I'm done. That weekend banner. So next we have the movie marquee. Um, I make my own movie marquees, and I made this one myself. Uh, I made this one months ago. It's like smaller, and it doesn't have the lines in the middle, which I like. I don't have a video of me making this because I made it forever ago, but it could be something I do in the future. And then I just made some small three-dot checklists because it's something I've always wanted to have in a kit. So there's two things left to make that I just decided to save. The first one is a plan next week sticker. And lastly are these girls that I will talk about when I get to them. So I'm going to move them to the side and work on the plan next week sticker. Um, I've never had one of these in my uh, um, kits, so I'm excited to. Um, the picture I got off of Google, it's, probably, it's from the Erin Condren website. Um, I just went ahead and downloaded it because why the heck not? <laughs> so uh, it's gonna be a very simple uh, sticker, but the uh, thing I'm making. It's just gonna have the planner and it's going to say plan next week. So let me write it out. Oops, that is way too big. Okay, get that in the right font. Cool. Let's center align these and move that line spacing. It's going to be white with a black border. I think I'm going to bold it. Yeah, I just really like how it looks bolded. So, let's... I really love the cover of this one, the turn your dreams into plans. I personally don't think it would, like, work with my personality on mine, if you know what I mean. But I think it works really well. Ooh, I don't like that they're both curved in the same direction. good. I want to center that. A middle line. Plan next week. Um, I think I can make this bigger, though. Oops. Alrighty, and let's group that. Alright, that was pretty easy. Um, and then the background, I probably will make it, like, glitter or something that matches this, but for now, I'm just gonna plop it right in here centered against the movie marquee. Okay. Hold on.
For some reason, I thought that was, like, curved or something. I don't know what's up with my eyes. Oop, not what I meant to do. Okay, so now we have this room down here. And I was going back and forth between what I wanted to put there, but I decided to eventually just grab these gals. So these are part of the collection of girl stickers that I have for myself. I have lots of sheets of these, but I decided to go ahead and take the most like the ones I grab most often and I'm just going to individually stick them in here. First of all, I'm going to make them all slightly bigger. So the one I use most often is this computer one. It's what I use to mark stuff for work. Um, they're all going to fit, but I want to make them fit in like a nice way, you know? Okay, so let's... Okay, very, very functional page. Um, it took a lot, <laughs> like a lot, a lot to get this to what I wanted. You guys were with me for that, but I am done with this page. The next page is like already halfway done for me, which is nice, but other than that, thanks guys for sticking with me on this one.